In this video, I'll show you how to download apps on Mac. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's go and jump straight into this guide. So there are two different main ways of how you can go and download apps on your Mac. The first way is going to be by using the App Store on your Mac, and the second way is by downloading apps from um, companies' websites and just websites in general. So firstly, I'll show you how to download apps on your Mac using the App Store. So all you need to do is go and open up the App Store. By default, it should be in your dock on your Mac. If you can't go and see it, then all you need to do is go to the top and go and tap on the spotlight search or the magnification glass and go and type in App Store like so. And here it is, you can then go and tap on it and it's going to go and start loading. There's quite a few different sections, as you can see on the left hand side discover, arcade, create, these are all just different categories. So go and browse through these until you go and find an app you'd like to go and use. There are so many different apps you can go and check out. If there's an app you already want, you can also go and use the search feature on the left hand side as well. And it is important to note there's going to be free and paid apps um, in the app store. And some are going to have additional in-app purchases, which basically means there are, the app is um, primarily free, but there are some things you can go and buy instead of the app to go and improve your experience. So in this case, I want to go and get this DuckDuckGo browser. So I'm going to go and tap on it like so, and then I'm going to go and tap on get, and then I need to go and press install. And as you can see, it now starts to circle. You may need to go and enter your Apple ID, depending if it's a free or a paid app as well. As you can see, I am in this case. And then a few seconds later, the download should start. As you can see, I can now go and see the progress and it's now circling again and it's just finished installing everything. It's super easy and then we can go and press open and we've now gone and downloaded an app from the app store and this is a you know another browser. And the second way you can go and download apps on your Mac is slightly different because for this one, you can't really just go and browse apps because what you will need to do is go to a company's website. So I'm gonna go and open up Safari and show you this as an example. For example, if I wanted to go and get Google Chrome on my computer, I already have it, but just as an example, I then go and search Google Chrome like so and go and search for that and then we go to the Google website and we can go and download the browser from there so essentially you have to go to directly to websites to go and download them and we could go and download it the same as the things like Steam which is like a gaming uh, marketplace and sort of um, host so go and press on Steam or go and search for Steam. It says, welcome to Steam. We can then go and download it and install it. Every developer's website will be slightly different. But for example, with Steam, I just tap install Steam like so. I then press install Steam again. And as you can see, I need to go and download the installer. I'd press allow, and then it's gonna go and start the download in the top of my browser and in the bottom of my computer as well. And you'll then need to go and follow the install process. So I then go and double tap on this, for example, and you'll have to go and drag the application into the, your applications folder just like so. Then you'll need to go and open up your applications folder or your launch pad like this and go and find where Steam is. In my case, it's in my games folder. So I then go and tap on it and I could then go and start launching it and I can go and finish the installation process. You also go and get pop-ups like this when you go and download apps from the internet because it's just, um, it could be more like a third party app than just being on the app store. And yeah, then it's going to go and update it and install it. But every app you download is going to be slightly different. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.